Hi guys, in this next tutorial we're going to learn about the sweep command. So let's get started. First, let's draw kind of a curvy line in our perspective space. If we pan around that in orbit, we'll see how it's curvy. Next, let's do a polyline right next to it. It does not have to match. Kind of curvy. Now let's select both of these and come over to Edit Points. Let's just click on it. Now let's just select a couple of random points. Using our gumball function here, let's move them up. Maybe another one. Next, hitting escape, getting the points off. Let's come to our right side. Now let's make a little profile. Maybe just an arch with the curve tool, and let's finish it off and select them both and type in join or control J. Now let's move that profile using the move command which is M spacebar. Click on some sort of snapping point. Let's move it to one of our paths that we created. Next, let's copy it, typing in copy. Let's move it to the other one. Now, let's see what the sweep command can do. First, let's type in sweep. Sweep one. So it says select rail. Right there. Now it says select cross section curves, which would be our profile. Now if we hit right click, it'll give us a little alignment arrow, and we right click again, it gives us a sweep. There's many different variations to this, just like loft. You can choose which one best highlights the effect you're going for. We'll stick with this. Let's repeat that command once more. Sweep, one, since there's only one rail, Select the rail, select the profile, right click, right click, see what we get. As we can see from the polyline, we get sharper edges, whereas the curv curvy line, we get kind of an organic touch to this. All right, now let's undo and just delete out those objects. Let's delete our profiles again. And now let's just make a line from here to here both rails. Let's create another line from here to here on both rails touching and one more and finish it out. So we end up with something like this. Next let's select all the lines we just created. Go to edit points on. Oop, actually let's select them all. Type in rebuild. Let's keep the degrees of three, the point count, three and hit OK. Now let's go to edit points. Now let's select some points here, just random. Let's pick them up. Now let's do a sweep two, which means two rails. So type in sweep two. Select our first rail. Select our second rail. Now select our cross section curves. Typically, you want to do these in order. Right click, and now you can see how the sweep can fit a loft within two rails. And you can see how the curve actually blends to the polyline, which can create some really interesting effects. And that's the basics of sweep. 